Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. The launch industry is on a roll. Following close on the hills of Intelsat 29E launched by Ariane Spass, Utilsat's 9B satellite was successfully deployed into geosynchronous transfer orbit by ILS using a proton rocket that lifted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on January 29. Separation of Utilsat's new satellite occurred after a 9-hour, 12-minute proton flight. Partial deployment of the satellite solar panels that represents the first critical post-launch operation took place two hours later. Following further manoeuvres and in-orbit tests, Utilsat 9B will be positioned at 9 degrees east in March to assume broadcasting of over 350 TV channels, currently served at this position by Utilsat 9A, and provide expansion capacity for new services. Utilsat 9B also marks an industry first as the host satellite for the inaugural data relay payload for the European data relay system being implemented through a public-private partnership between ESA and Airbus Defence and Space. Sky Perfect JSAT Corporation has awarded Lockheed Martin a contract for JCSAT-17, a satellite based on the A2100 common design. JCSAT-17 is an S-band satellite that will operate well in excess of 15 years. The satellite will include a flexible processor that will allow SJC to redirect capacity to concentrate on disaster relief efforts or other high volume events. Frequentis and ND Satcom have announced a cooperation for IP-based ATM-grade voice communication over satellite networks. Both companies commit to expanding their partnership to deliver highest voice quality through to dynamic delay compensation. As a result, a high availability solution will serve all future customers in compliance to the standards of the International Civil Aviation Organization. ND Satcom and Frequentis have been partners for the past few years and now expand this commitment to create a new dimension of interconnected satellite and terrestrial networks to ensure a first-class ATM-grade network solution with dynamic delay compensation, which is crucial for IP networks. And finally, SES has launched a new satellite data network called SES Plus that will offer customised products and solutions to tackle the evolving needs of the market. By leveraging SES's partnership with O3B Networks and its medium Earth orbit satellites in combination with SES's geostationary wide beams and upcoming HTS payloads, the global satellite operator will be able to offer multiple solutions that will address the diverse needs of the data markets. SES will also continue to invest in ground infrastructure to ensure easy accessibility to space. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.